you come in and did something completely different that we hadn't seen. I mean, this graphic, I mean, speaks for itself. You go to the following season, you know, your first full season in the Premier League, and you're number one in terms of distance per game. We see that. But the big thing for me is how far you're number one. That's a big jump from Cardiff in second. And also the big thing that stands out is who's in 20th position? <laughs> uh, Tottenham. And then yes. that changed a lot when you went to Tottenham. We look now at the highest distance that's ever been covered uh, per game uh, by teams and by certain managers. And your Southampton team is right at the top. But again, your Tottenham team now completely changed from, from what we saw in that first season. You said how great the players were at, at Southampton. How difficult or different was it to actually implement that style again at Tottenham? No, I think it was, uh, was maybe we spent a little bit more time than Southampton. I think uh, uh, Southampton, is, Southampton was different to Tottenham, Tottenham different to, to Southampton. And of course, uh, uh, when we arrived to, to Tottenham, it was uh, at the circumstances were completely different that you can maybe today to find in a, in a club like Tottenham. No? Uh, Tottenham was uh, was a team with 33 players. Uh, was a team uh, that trying to to create some uh, um, identity or or maybe to maybe to change uh, um, the period that they were building until there, and that is why they find maybe a, a young coaching staff, a new manager. And to try to develop a different way to maybe to approach uh, the games, but of course we see it because in the same way that I am talking very high about Nicola and the and the club uh, of Southampton, um, for us Tottenham was an amazing journey, more than five years that we really enjoyed from the day one, and we again discovered people like of course. Uh, 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 in that case, Joel Luis, that is the owner, with uh, Daniel Levy, and all this, the, the, the boardroom, the board, and all the people and the staff that was helping from the day one to us, uh, to helping us to, to be successful. And then the player, but the players were, were amazing too. Um, we, we find um, a, di a, di a group of, uh, you know, with different habits, <laughs> you know, different, no, different habits because the habits uh, make, uh, but the, the players are not uh, responsible of the habit that they uh, adopt. Sometimes, um, not sometimes, always is uh, who lead the club, who lead today the companies, that football are companies, uh, need to, to be strong in how you want to, to create the habit and to translate the, the, the principle to your team. The player are important because as the principal actor into the pitch, of course. And then you need to create the line from the, from the top and to be a strong in your principle in, and in, in the way that you are going to develop, in the way to, to lead to, for the thing uh, happen in the way that you want. And I think that was, uh, was amazing to have this uh, possibility uh, to feel free to create something special in Tottenham, and I think that was uh, was amazing. And then, of course, uh, in all change, always is, is is painful. It's really painful, you know. But you need when you arrive a new club, you need to make some changes. If you arrive from the beginning, easier. But if you arrive in the middle, the same. You need to to start to build, and that is why it's so important to create a big platform, and that is in what. What we really believe, the we coaching staff is, is about to, is to create a platform where the player can feel comfortable and can improve. It's so important. I, you are so excited to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, uh, we're just teasing Spurs fans with this information, but we're going to have to come back to it, Mauricio, because otherwise we'll miss the game tonight.